It's hard enough to create one terrifyingly successful horror flick, but a whole series? I was meant to see this movie. Bye-bye, suckers! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best modern horror movie franchises. For this list, we're focusing on horror franchises that began in the year 2000 or later, and are basing our choices on their popularity, box office success, and how effectively they scare the bejesus out of us. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. We should also mention that some of these scenes you're about to see are pretty disturbing, while others might even feature spoilers. So, you've been warned on both counts. <laughs> Number 10, Hatchet Franchise. <laughs> Starting off with the most basic of killing implements, Hatchet chops into the number 10 spot with all of the gore you'd expect from such a title. What's more, it features some of your favorite horror tropes. Deformed and bullied child turned psycho killer, plus tragic deaths, and a group of fun-loving teens all add up to your standard horror franchise mayhem. With a modern twist, of course. These are his woods. Whose woods? Victor Crowley. Enough with the stories already, huh? With genre icon Kane Hodder starring as the axe-wielding psychopath Victor Crowley, butchery ensues in the Louisiana swamps near his haunted family shack. <laughs> All right, it might not be the most original plot line, but the victim disposal methods do get more inventive as the trilogy progresses. Number 9, VHS Franchise. Go! Go! VHS technology might be out of date, but don't think that means the scares in this series are obsolete. With a POV approach, this anthology horror trilogy takes the viewer through a series of what looks like found footage home movies, which, as you can expect, eventually lead to a variety of nasty demises. Did you hear that? <laughs> With several shorter tales in each film, there's sure to be something in there to freak you out, while jump scares and general creepiness will keep you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> Although the handheld camera work can be a little hard on the senses, the filmmakers did find a new and interesting way to string together a couple of small vignettes into a franchise of entertaining films. Are you seeing weird stuff? Like people who look dead? You should really open the door. Number 8. Wreck Franchise Estamos incomunicados, ¿por qué? The Spanish zombie horror franchise upon which the American Quarantine series is based. The original Wreck also uses the handheld camera method of telling the story. <laughs> the series of four films begins by following a reporter and her cameraman as they enter a building with an emergency response team and get a response they could have lived without. Literally. Con la llave. Con la llave. El presidente tiene la llave de todo. ¿Dónde? En su casa. Con... The claustrophobic settings and religious undertones up the tension in these films as we're treated to a first-person experience of a zombie-infested nightmare. Dark lighting, jerky camera movements, and maniacs trying to feast on your throat makes for four films of terrifying intensity. <laughs> Number 7, Final Destination Franchise. It's an accident. In death, there are no accidents, no coincidences, no mishaps, and no escapes. Prophetic visions and fate are the topics of choice in this franchise. Throughout the five films so far in the series, precognitive teens try to cheat death and save themselves from their own untimely and predicted demises. There's gonna be a huge pileup. I saw it. <laughs> there were bodies everywhere. The Grim Reaper, however, has other plans, and attempts to thwart their efforts with series after series of outlandish coincidences that, when successful, lead to over-the-top gore and messy ends. The series brings the horror to the viewer in a way that may be beyond bloody, but it is also extremely entertaining, in a gross way. You'll never listen to John Denver the same way again. <laughs> Number six, 
Number six, the Purge franchise. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Imagine a country where any and all crime is legal for a 12 hour period, once a year. Now imagine that a murderous gang has targeted your house specifically. Now imagine what your next 12 hours will be like. Get ready to bleed, rich bitches! This is our time now! That's the basic premise of the first film in the Purge franchise, which grossed over 89.3 million on a $3 million budget. And believe it or not, the films only got more successful from there, with each new entry exploring the concept through an ever-widening lens. <laughs> With tension you can taste, this dystopian action franchise forces you to ask yourself, what would you do? We will now purge. We will torture you and violate your flesh. No! Remove your skin and share in your blood. This is the American way. Number five, 28 days later slash 28 weeks later franchise. Get up. This is the film series that made running from zombie-like creatures much tougher than it used to be, as the two-part franchise pits humanity against some pretty speedy infected beings in a race to survive. Oh my God! Ah! Some well-meaning animal activists accidentally release the rage virus upon mankind, and when the first film's protagonist awakes from a coma four weeks after the event, he finds the world deserted, with the minor exception of the crazed infected hordes, of course. Ah! Well-developed characters and a fresh approach to the zombie genre help bring the viewer into these films, which do not fail to deliver on the zombie gore and post-apocalyptic scares. <laughs> Number four, Paranormal Activity Franchise. What, what, what's the I just, I just stopped breathing. If things going bump in the night is your scare of choice, you'll want to check out the films in this supernatural horror series. What is your quest? What is your favorite color? Where did you come from? The Paranormal Activity franchise has six films to its credit to date, and each one has its fair share of chills, thrills, and jump scares, of course. Captured in a found footage style by home movie and security cameras, the seemingly normal surroundings in the film instantly become frightening as decidedly nasty presences make themselves known. I don't think anybody's here. <laughs> How the hapless victims become aware of the evil is a step by step lesson in terror, and how they deal with that evil will scare your pants off with tension. Number three, Insidious Franchise. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. Things start to get really nasty as the Insidious series does its very best to keep you scared. The barrier between our reality and the spirit world may be thinner than you think, and these films show us just how close they really are. Yes, there are plenty of jump scares to keep the popcorn flying, but it's the quieter moments in between, when you're waiting and thinking and dreading what'll come next that'll really get to you. Don't you dare! With four films as of 2017, the Insidious series will get under your skin just as effectively as any demon. This is how you die. Not today, it is. Number two, Saw franchise. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. You don't want to have to solve the puzzles in our next franchise. First hitting the theaters in 2004, Saw has gone on to spawn six more movies so far, as well as countless sleepless nights for its viewers. The series' original antagonist, Jigsaw, and his successors take killing in a creative direction, as countless victims are put into situations that require gruesome solutions in order to escape with their lives. You think it's over just because I am dead? It's not over. The games have just begun. If you can handle the gut-wrenching tension of watching someone sawing off his own foot, seeing someone split open like a butterfly, or extracting a pound of flesh from him or herself, then this grisly modern horror series will be one you definitely want to check out. No! Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
Number one, The Conjuring franchise. You can't beat the scares that come from movies that claim to be based on true events, feature characters based on actual paranormal investigators, and boast enough shocks to keep you awake for a good long time. James Wan, the same director who brought us Insidious, applies his terrifying talents to these films with great skill. And the ghosts, demonic possessions, and nasty surprises around every corner are only the tip of the iceberg. If you're looking for films that will chill you to the bone and scare you senseless, then look no further, because The Conjuring franchise and its spin-off series, Annabelle, will deliver everything you ask for, and maybe a bit more. What do you want? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.